everybody and welcome to Cole's Place. My name's Colin and uh, thanks for dropping by and watching another video from the sunny beautiful island of Tenerife. Okay so as always I'm gonna do a quick pan round and show you exactly where I am for this video. Let's have a look. Okay folks so get yourself ready for a beautiful view. I am here at the uh, Play de las Americas sort of end of what is known as the Santa Elmo Strip. Santa Elmo Centro Commercial. There we go. Little uh, strip of bars and restaurants and uh, small businesses. So I thought I'd bring you out for a little walk, show you what's new. Check this out. Over that direction, the Play de las Americas, sort of Golden Mile. A lot of you will be familiar with this area. The big yellow block of flats there is the Torres del Sol complex, which is where Vic and I are staying. Vista Sur shopping centre and this. Player de la Vista, check that water out. Got a ferry just about to go out there and one coming in, look, I'll zoom in. Absolutely stunning today, the temperature, according to my finger, and the thing on my phone, and all the little digital clocks around town, You've guessed it, do I need to say it? 28 degrees plus. It's a warm one and it's gonna get warmer. So as I said, what I thought I'll do, uh, this video, I'll bring it out, have a little walk up the San Telmo Strip. Uh, I'm gonna do a sort of little mini restaurant review. I don't sit there eating on camera, but I am gonna tell you about two places Vic and I have both uh, visited this past week. And I'll give you a comparison between the two. So wait to the end for that one, because I'm gonna give me verdict on which one's best. Okay, so a uh, bit of a sad day today, guys. It's Vic's last day. Uh, she's actually flying home to, back to uh, Bournemouth tonight. She's got a business to run. She could only get the one week away, uh, but she has enjoyed it. So she flies home tonight. Uh, but then the good news is you've still got me here for another week. So uh, I've got loads of vlogs that I've got to put up uh, and edit, Scion Park, uh, kayaking, uh, parasailing that we both did. And there's loads more coming up. So, hit the thumbs up and if you haven't already done so subscribe i'm on about 2700 of you i want their uh, coles place army to grow while i'm here get me to the 3000 you know you want to it's free to subscribe so at the moment uh vic's having a final few hours by the pool she's a massive sunbather on the go at night time in the by the pool in the daytime i can't just switch off and sit by a pool <laughs> never been my thing so i leave her to it and come out uh summer summer Restaurant and pizzeria, smells absolutely wonderful. Check this out. Before I start the walk up the strip, I've had a few messages in the comments uh, and on my other social media, on the Facebook and things saying, we're landing this week or we've already landed. And uh, it'd be great to see you about. If you do see me about, even if I've got a camera in my hand and I'm chatting away like an idiot, come and stop me and say hello or give me a shout and uh, I answer to anything, so <laughs> just give me a shout. A pretty old place, isn't it, look at that. Piccolo. There's some great looking restaurants along here and I think it's one of the most underrated parts of the uh, area. So over there you've got a butt maker, hair, hairdressers, and there's a little sort of cafeteria tucked away there. A lot of locals sort of uh, come along here restaurant oasis this was busy the other night gluten free looks like they're on holidays till the 27th of june but they're normally open from one o'clock to half ten there are a few places that have um, closed up for holidays one of my favorites a little bar in los cristianos that's closed and i believe they're on holiday dotted along san telmo strip if you've never been here before there are little sort of stairways you can go down towards the beach area or up onto the next level uh, where there's like a strip of bars and sort of late bars and there's, I think there's an Irish bar as well. There's a couple of bars along there. I will do a, a walk along there, but I'll leave that till early, early evening when they're a little bit uh, more vibrant because at the minute I'll just be showing you closed doors. But at least with the restaurants, I can uh, show you the menus and stuff. So we've got Salat Negra.
no matter what your taste in food is, if you can't find anything along here, there you go, bit of cinematic, look at that, Sal Negra, absolutely stunning along here. Then we've got Habibi Lebanese restaurant. Check that out, with views out to the sea as well, look at that. So if you like your Lebanese food, that's where you need to come. Belly dances in there of an evening. Okay, and the first place I'm gonna show you that uh, Rick and I visited and enjoyed, uh, it's right opposite, so you look for this sign, Centro Commercial, San Telmo, so this is right in the center of the strip. Do a 180. And you've got the Ned Craft Beer Bar and Growler Restaurant. Okay, so we only went in there purely because I like my craft beers. Uh, and secondly, we did try and get in Lucky Seven's Burger Bar, but you had to book, they were busy. So we went across the road and these guys fitted us in. And I've got to tell you, food is absolutely stunning. I did a vlog back in March on the bar, on the bar itself. Uh, have a look at that. Uh, if you go back to March in my Tenerife section on the channel, uh, you'll see the vlog I did. Great beers, uh, great atmosphere in there, and I believe they're opening another one somewhere as well. So it's obviously growing and doing very well. So uh, check that out. Vic had a burger, and I had uh, some like American style ribs that came with like skin chips, and it, they're absolutely stunning. Great food. Uh, we've got La Suerte Rista Bar. Pastas and salads. As made at Asian fusion. Again, if you've ever been in any of these, let me know. Because every trip I try and go somewhere different, not the usual places uh, that I've vlogged elsewhere. But yeah, check out my vlog on the Craft Beer Bar back in March. If you like your craft beers, that is a place to go. I've uh, got Barraquito, Risto and Gastro Bar. Again, it's only about 12 o'clock, so a lot of these places aren't open till this evening. Sunset Cafe. But I thought if I come along here now, there's not as much traffic. There's a little car hire place there, a bank, a little cafe over the road as well, and a uh, Las Vistas pharmacy. So it's not too busy at the moment. Otherwise, it'd be tons of traffic up and down. You won't be able to hear me. Okay, so here it is. Lucky Sevens, special, speciality burgers. Show you the menu. You can pause it if you want, if you want to read it. So in that one, I had like a, a special burger with everything on it. And uh, I think I think Vic had a double smash, or was it the other way around? Can't remember. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I can see why it's got its reputation. I'm not the biggest burger fan, but yeah, that was really nice in there as well. Can't fault it. Views to die for, because uh, it was a Sunday evening just as not it wasn't sunset but that little bit just before sunset Punta Cana disco Spanish disco yeah it's that little bit before sunset where it's just about cooling down and you're getting your appetite and we sat out the back uh, looking out to the sea um, yeah really nice okay so we're heading to Los Cristianos now I'll tell you what I'll do I'll walk you down to the harbour then I'll tell you which burger we thought were best out of Ned Craft Beer Bar and Lucky Sevens. So up on top here, we've got uh, La Casa de Kebab, which I'm guessing is a kebab house. <laughs> and next to that, little mini market, and we've got Anne and Anna's Cafe, which always seems to have people in it. Every time I come past a lot of locals. Quite a basic sort of cafe menu, but uh, yeah, seems to do quite well. Two bottles of Estrella, three euro. That's not bad, is it? <coughs> I am shaking off this cough and getting my voice back slowly. It'll probably go on the last day. <laughs> uh, cafeteria Happy. Rispo Cafeteria. So it seems to be a very popular place with the locals uh, along here. And I don't think uh, many holiday makers know where it is. So just to show you exactly where it is, Los Cristianos Town Centre is literally just there. There's the main shopping streets. I will do vlogs on some of these back streets as well that I've been asked to do. 
and if you go to Los Cristianos, you can't fail but to find yourself near the harbour. So if you find the harbour which is there, the harbour wall where all the ferries are, walk up this street, head left at this roundabout towards uh, Las Americas, and you are literally landed on the San Telmo Strip. Nice and easy to find and well worth a visit if you just want to get out of the actual Golden Mile, Los Cristianos sort of areas and all their tourist traps. And after your meal, you can have a little walk down here to the harbour. Can't be bad, can it? So if you are landing in the next week or if you're already here, as I say, and you see me out and about, give me a shout. You can even come in a video if you want. <laughs> I've already, oops, I've, <laughs> I've already met quite a few people, which is nice. And I want to say thank you for everybody's comments. Um, too many people to name because loads of you are commenting. Uh, I think you appreciate the fact that I'm the only one here at the minute doing these type of walks. Uh, Scotsman, uh, he's, he's not over. Uh, as we all know, Matt Master Lee's not too well. Um, so it's nice if I can keep you all updated as to what's going on and what things look like, then it's worth doing, isn't it? Take a look at that, guys. Chill out bar down below. And Vista Speech. Stunning or what? Let me know what you think. Okay, everybody, hope you enjoyed that. Just a little walk along the San Telmo Strip. If you're in either resort, Las Americas, uh, Costa Decky, or uh, Los Cristianos, give that strip a visit. Get you out the way to crowds, and there's a great choice of bars on the beach side and a great choice of restaurants on the roadside. And uh, yeah, they're all fantastic. Um, I did tell you, Vic and I, we uh, visited two over last weekend. Uh, we went to Ned Craft Beer Bar, Growler Restaurant, and the Lucky Sevens Burger Bar. Now, I can't fault the food, and Vic said the same thing in either of them. Um, both were good and different in their own way. Great views in Lucky Sevens, great food, great service. Over the road in uh, the Craft, Ned Craft Beer Bar, Again, great food, TVs on in the background if you wanted to watch the sports, and uh, excellent service. Um, but if you want me to sort of uh, make that decision, I've got to be honest, I preferred the food more in Ned Craft Beer Bar. It was just more, not homemade, but you know, just, just, just nicer. Uh, whereas Lucky Sevens was like, I wouldn't say standard McDonald's type burgers, nothing like that. But it was just better, in my opinion, better in Ned Craft Beer Bar. And before you say anything, no, I'm not being uh, sponsored by him. <laughs> so pay both a visit anyway. Listen, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Loads more videos come up in the week. Uh, I've got stuff to put up that Vic and I have been doing. And I've got loads coming up. Lives, ask me anything, more walks. I'm going up that mountain and uh, night walks as well. And over the weekend, I'm going to be doing a very special walk. All right, so subscribe for more Tenerife stuff. Like this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.